Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about solving problems involving partitive proportion. We have the first problem here. Two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3. What is the value of the bigger number if the sum of the two numbers is 225? We will use block model approach to solve this problem because it's easier for students to understand if they see things. Okay, let's have first number and the second number. The first number will have two boxes and the second number will have three boxes. It also says there that the total is 225. How are we going to get the value of each box? We will just divide it into 5 boxes. So 225 divided by 5. By dividing 225 by 5, we will find the number in each box. So there will be 45 in each box. We'll write 45 in each box there. That's 45, 45, 45, and 45. And we're looking for the bigger value. How will we know which one has the bigger value? Of course, the one with three boxes. That's 45 times 3 will give us 135. So our answer for this question is 135. And that's it. We have another problem. The ratio of the number of boys and girls in my class is 4 is to 5. How many boys are there if I have a total of 45 students? So now, we will write boys and girls. And remember that boys were mentioned first. So they will have 4 boxes. So let's draw that. And the girls will have 5 boxes. It has to be correct. Whatever is being mentioned first, it has to be that number too. It's the total number of the students in my class is 45. How are we going to get the value of each box? We will just divide it to the number of boxes. That's 45 divided by 9. That will give us 5. So let's write 5 in each box. And we're looking for the number of the boys. So that's 5 times 4. That will give us 20. So it's easy. Our answer for this question is 20 boys. And that's it. We have another one. Three students shared an amount in the ratio 5 is to 2 is to 3. If the biggest share was 250 pesos, find the total amount of money they shared all together. Let's write first student, second student, and third student. Let's make boxes. Five boxes for the first student. Second, two boxes. Third, three boxes. And it says there that the first student has a total money of 250 pesos. How are we going to get the value of each box? of the first student we will just divide 250 by 5 and it will give us 50 we can write 50 in each box and whatever is the value of each box of the first student that will be the value of each box of the second and third student and the problem says that we're looking for the total amount they share so we will just add all the values of the boxes for each student for first student, that's 250. For second, that's 100. And the third, that's 150. We will just add and we'll get 500. Therefore, our answer for this question is 500 pesos. And that's it. We have the last problem. The angles of the triangle is in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. Find the measure of each angle. We will write first the angles, that's first, second, and third angle. Next, we have one box for the first angle, second, we have two boxes, and third, three boxes. We know exactly that the total measure of the angles is 180 degrees. So how are we going to get the value of each 
value of the boxes all we need to do is divide it into six because we have six boxes there 180 divided by 6 will give us 30 so in each box we'll have 30 and we're looking for the measure of each angle so for the first angle that's 30 degrees second angle 60 degrees and third angle that's 90 degrees and these are our final answers for this question and that's it and we're done Now, it is time for you to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. The question is, Aini, Irene, and Hasmin shared a sum of money in the ratio 2 is to 5 is to 4. If Irene got 2,000 pesos, what was the original amount of money? I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!